Alrighty, so what we're doing today is we're going to show you the solo mode of upkeep. Uh, the solo mode is really almost the exact same as the normal mode. The only difference is, is that um, you're going to be racing the, the weather deck and you won't have other players to trade with. Otherwise, all the elements should be the same as the normal game. So the, the first thing you do in upkeep is you put together your weather deck. The weather deck is made up of calm weather cards, which indicates that there's no unusual weather happening that round. And then there are six unique storms. Um, hopefully we'll get a couple more in there for with a Kickstarter, but uh, there'll be six storms here. So what I like to do is I like to choose some random storms. And for a moderate game, I usually choose four. And I'll discard the others. And I won't look at them, that way um, it's gonna be random. And then I generally, for a moderate game, I choose seven calm weathers. Now, if you want the game to be more difficult, you add in more storms and less calm weathers. If you want it to be more casual, then you do the reverse. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with a calm weather. I'm gonna mix the rest of these together. And then that will make up my weather deck for the game. Now, in a solo mode, the challenge is, is to beat the weather deck. Once you run out of cards in your weather deck, the game ends. And so the idea is, is to try and beat the, um, the deck before it finishes. Now, the very first thing you're going to do before you start is you're going to place your meeple on your first toolbox. And then you're going to place 12 leaf tokens in your yard. Now, the way you place tokens, just so you can keep track of where you're at, is you place your meeple on your first area. The first area in every yard represents one of the four areas. In this case, the roof, which is this area right here. The second area is your deck. The third area is your pool, and the fourth area is, is your lawn. Now, different yards will have different configurations, and so you can try different yards. Some of the other yards have some elements that make them a little bit more complex. Uh, this is uh, one of the moderate yards. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select 12 tokens. Six, nine, 12. And what I like to do is either put them face down or to put them in my hand. I'll draw one token out and turn it over. And then I'll place it on my roof because that's where my meeple is. I will then advance to the deck and I will do the same thing. And then the pool. And then the lawn. Okay. Now what you're looking to do is you want to try and group the tokens together as close as you can. Because one of the tasks is to stack the tokens in piles of three so that you can put those in your bin. So we'll do roof deck, pool, and lawn, roof, deck, pool, and lawn. Okay. All right, so that is just the setup so that you can start the game. Now the game has five phases, these five right here. The very first phase, now that we're starting the game, is to check the weather. Uh, in the first round, we already have our weather checked, so I'm going to go ahead and advance. When you have a calm weather, you use all three dice. The number dice represent the number of leaves you will draw for the next round. So I'm going to draw eight leaves. And again, try to you know not look at them. I usually shuffle them up. And then the location die represent these four areas. There's also um, a garden on some of the other yards. This indicates where you're going to put your meeple when you first start before you place your leaves. So in this phase here, we're going to place leaves. Now, when you use the location die, you're going to put leaves based on that location. So for example, if I were to start on the lawn, all my leaves would go on the lawn. But if I had rolled the roof, I would do roof, deck, pool, lawn, and then repeat. If I had rolled the deck, for example, I would do deck, pool, lawn. So wherever your meeple is when you use the location die, you're going to repeat from that point on. What that does is that kind of gives you a really nice spread of where the leaves end up, and it's quite random, almost you know, as if you really were getting leaves off your tree. Now in this case, because I rolled the lawn, um, I'm going to 
go ahead and place all my leaves on the lawn, which is actually quite nice because it's a little bit easier to, to group them together. And you'll see here that I'm trying to line up leaves of the same type as much as I can. And that will help quite a bit when I go to start stacking them. All right, so that's kind of where we, what we've ended up with. Now you can see very quickly that you get quite a few leaves very quickly. The first part of the game, the leaves are piling up uh, quite a bit generally. Uh, but the latter part of the game is you get upgrades and helpers, and uh, generally it'll speed up quite a bit. All right. Now the next phase is your upgrade phase. The upgrade phase, we really won't do anything with this round because we don't have any tokens yet or anything to redeem. And finally, you have the cleanup phase. The cleanup phase always works the same way. You're going to start your meeple on your first area, in this case my roof. Because I have no upgrades, in each area I only get one move. Now the valid moves are, I can stack a token for one move, I can swap two tokens for one move that are adjacent, I can move left, right, up, down, even across areas. You can also swap across areas as well if you want. I don't have any, but um, like for example, well, if you wanted to do that, you could. That would be kind of silly, but... Um, and finally, there's one special move that's really, really useful, and that is, is if you have three tokens of the same type in a row like this, or in an L shape, they can all stack on the center token for one move. So I can do that or that. Okay. But they have to be in the same area, so if it was like this, I wouldn't be able to do it this way. Um, so I've got, you know, this and this, that will be quite nice. Now the other thing to watch for is your bin only has three of the five available leaves. So if I were to stack this fern, I would have to put that in what's called my scratch bin, which really is just used for discarding. That way you can get rid of leaves that um, don't interest you. These uh, bins, as you collect the appropriate leaves for each, you'll be able to redeem those later on for the tokens. So I'm going to go ahead and on my roof, I'm going to go ahead and do a stack here for one move. My deck, I have one move as well, so I'm going to go ahead and move my um, maple up to here. Uh, pool, I'm going to go ahead and stack this oak there. And then my lawn, because I have three in a row, I'm going to stack that into a pile of three. Now, as soon as you have a pile of three, that does not take a move. You can immediately, if you're working in that area, move that into your appropriate bin. Your bin can only hold one pile of leaves, and they have to all be the same type. And that concludes our cleanup phase. Now, once we're done with that, really, we kind of repeat. So we're going to check the weather. We've got a calm weather, so we roll all the dice. Now, this particular location dice indicates that it's the garden or the pool. This particular yard has a pool, and so um, that's where I'm going to place my meeple. And then I draw eight tokens. Two, four, six, eight. And then I start on my pool. So I'm going to do pool, lawn, pool, lawn until I run out of tokens. Okay, so we got a pool, lawn, pool, lawn, pool, lawn, pool. Lawn, pool. Now you notice I'm filling in all the blank spots, and that is because if you have an open spot, you have to use it. But once you're full, for example, if I had one more leaf token, I would actually have to stack inside the pool because I'm out of spots. But if you have any open spots, you've got to use those first. Okay? All right, so that was our um, roll the dice and place leaves. We now have the upgrade phase. Now the upgrade phase works like this. We have um, some leaf in our, our bin that we can actually go ahead and redeem if we want to. If you redeem one bin, you only get one token. If you redeem two bins, so if I had oak or maple, I would actually get three tokens. And if you get all three, you can, you'll can you get five tokens. So it is more advantageous to wait until you have two stacks or three. But you have to manage that carefully. If these bins are full and you wait, then you can't be putting leaves into them during your next cleanup round. Now I'm looking at my yard 
Um, and it looks like it's worth waiting because I'm likely to get my maple here, so next round I can get three. So I'm going to leave that in there this round, and so we'll talk about upgrades next round. We now do the cleanup phase, and again, no upgrades, so it's one move in each area. So my roof, I'm going to go ahead and move my maple here. Now you'll notice my maple is sitting on my deck, so I can't do anything with it yet because I am working in the roof. But that was why I'm one move there. Now that I'm on the deck, though, if you have a pile of three, it does not require a move, so I can immediately put that into my bin. But I still have one move because that didn't use up my move. So I'm going to go ahead and move this aspen right there. All right, my pool. I'm not really super excited about any of these, but I will go ahead and take the aspen and stack it on the lawn area. And then finally my lawn. I have a few different options. I'm going to go ahead and put my aspen into my scratch bin, and I'll show you why later. And then I'm going to go ahead, and that didn't take a move because it was uh, already full. And then I'm going to go ahead and stack those three together. Actually, you know what? I think I will stack these three together so that those stay close. All right, and that concludes my cleanup. So we'll check the weather again. Still a calm weather. And we're going to start on the lawn with seven. So we're getting some pretty lucky rolls because everything is piling up on the lawn, which incidentally is one of your biggest areas, your last toolbox. And so that's actually really good. All right, so we've got seven, and they all go on the lawn. Now one of the challenges is as the yard fills up, of course, sometimes it gets a little tricky deciding where to put, put some of your leaf tokens, like this one here. I want to keep this open in case I get an oak, which I did. Cool. Yeah, so you'll see the lawn's quite busy, but if I were to get any more leaves right now, I would actually be able to start stacking, which is also beneficial. All right, so we've rolled the dice, we've placed our leaves, now we're going to do the upgrade. Now, I'm going to show you right here. So I can redeem these two. Put in the discard box here. <clears throat> for three tokens. Now, because I have a pile of Aspen in my scratch bin, I could throw it away, but that would be kind of wasteful since I have a bin. So I can move those over, and I have two options. <clears throat> Excuse me. I can either redeem those immediately for one more token, or I can wait. Looking at my yard, you'll notice that it looks like I will get maple and oak this round. So it looks like it'd be worth waiting so that I can fill up all three bins. So I will go ahead and leave that in there. Now that I have tokens, there's a few things that I can actually do. I can unlock one of these tools for two tokens, which would then give me multiple moves. So for example, I could use one of my upgrade tokens, markers, and uh, put that here for two tokens. And what that'll do is that gives me two moves now on my lawn, which will help because I'd like to get those two piles into my bins. Now, plus a lot of my activities on the lawn. So now once you've unlocked a tool for two tokens, each uh, additional upgrade is one token. So I'm going to go ahead and spend this one and move this on up to three. So that I actually get three moves now on my lawn. Now, I don't have any other tokens, but there are other upgrades is you can hire some help. Um, once you get a star, there's some moves that you unlock, and some different things like that, but we'll cover those as we go through the game. Now that my upgrade phase is done, I'm going to do cleanup, and it's going to work pretty much the same way. I got one move on my roof. I got one move on my deck. There's not a lot to do there, so I'm just going to move that there. I have one move on my pool. I'm going to go ahead and just stack this maple, and then finally I have three moves on my lawn, so I'm going to go ahead and stack this oak, which will go into that bin. I will stack this maple. Actually, I think I will do these three here. And I can put those immediately into my bin. That's two moves, and I get one more. Now, I could go ahead and, and get rid of one of the ones I don't need because I have an open scratch bin. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. This is all ready to go, so it doesn't cost a move. I'm going to go into my scratch bin. And then I'm going to go ahead and move this one into the pool so that I can stack it next time. And that concludes my cleanup. Now we check the weather, and we finally have a storm. 
So there's a couple things that happen with the storm. First of all, you will no longer use the location die for that round. You will always start on your first toolbox. That way leaves fill all the areas during a storm. This particular storm, the sun beats down mercilessly. You can only work outside for short periods of time. Every one does half as many moves for each area this round. So what that means is uh, my roof, where I have one move, I don't get any. Same with the deck and the pool. My lawn, though, I have three moves. So I'll cut that in half and round down, which means I get one move on my lawn this round. Now, luckily, I'll be doing some upgrades, so perhaps I can improve that a little bit. Um, now, we still roll the dice like normal. So I will be placing seven leaves. But one thing that I'm going to do since I drew a storm is I'm going to put these little storm tokens on each toolbox that is affected by the storm. And that's because we're not doing cleanup, you know, for a couple of phases, and we don't want to forget that those areas are affected. So draw seven tokens. And now we'll place those starting on the first area because it's a storm. So roof, deck, pool, and lawn. And then back to roof. Oh, darn. Deck. And then last one goes on the pool. All right. Not a lot of Aspen, unfortunately. Okay, so now that we've placed our leaves, we're in the upgrade phase. Now, I don't have fern, so I'm just going to go ahead and discard those. But I did fill up all three bins, so I can turn those in, and I get five tokens. Now, because I got a storm that's impacting all my areas, which isn't very helpful, one of the things that you can do is for two tokens, you can hire a neighborhood helper. Um, so that's this pile right here. The neighborhood helpers um, are pretty handy. They each have at least one immunity. So, for example, some of the helpers might make your lawn immune to storms or your deck or, or one of the other areas. The way that works is I spend two tokens and I draw the top two cards. I turn those over, and then I look and see which one I want to keep. Now, George, lawn area, is a lawn helper, so the lawn area is immune. So I'm going to go ahead and take George, because then I can actually go ahead and remove this token, because now the lawn area is immune to any storm effects, so it doesn't affect that area. You take the extra one and just shuffle back. You, know, you don't need to shuffle it because it's one player, but you put that back in the deck. And so now my lawn is, has been helped. Now, if I wanted to do some moves in another area, I still have three tokens here that could help. So I'm going to actually spend two of my tokens. Actually, you know what? I'll go ahead and get a professional. So the professional cards are a little bit more advanced. They do require three tokens. And you draw, in this case, you draw uh, three cards for the solo so that you have a few more options. You're going to turn these over and choose your favorite one. Now, I'm not going to go through all of these because you can look through the manual. There's a lot of different um, upgrades and different things that each of the professionals will have, and they're all quite different. I'm quite fond of uh, Kiera, so I'm probably going to choose Kiera uh, because she actually allows you to do a move every round. Now, you'll notice on the professional cards, the first one has a check. That means you get it right away. The next two you have to upgrade. So there's a th this one requires three tokens, and you have to do that first. And then finally six tokens for the last one. Kira is quite powerful, so I'm going to keep her. And then just put the, the two back in there. Now, you can only have one professional and one helper. And there's only one exception. One of the uh, professional cards actually allows you to have two helpers. But in this case, we'll just have one of each. So now if we look, now one thing to remember is you just really have to kind of double check to your bonuses before you get up into cleanup and stuff. Otherwise, it's kind of easy to forget that you have those bonuses there. All right, so I'm done upgrading because I'm out of money. So I'm going to go ahead and do cleanup. Now, since these areas are blocked, really I can't do anything. But luckily, I can do my lawn. And I also have this bonus from Kiara, which is move one leaf anywhere once per cleanup. Uh, these supersede any of the restrictions, so I can take one leaf anywhere I want and go ahead and move it. So I'm going to take this aspen here and I'm going to put it over here. 
And I get to do that each cleanup round, which is quite nice. All right, so we have three moves on the lawn, and only the lawn. So we probably won't get much done this round. So I'm going to go ahead and do one. I'm going to do a swap here for two. And... Oh, goodness, how about three? Okay, uh, yeah, I didn't really get anything done. This was in the pole area, so I can't even put that in my bin because I only worked the lawn area. So that finishes that round, and thankfully the storm. So we get rid of our to storm tokens, and we get to check the weather again. Thankfully, we've got a clear weather, so we use all three dice, and we have six. Now, this um, arrow indicates that we're going to put it on our fourth area, rightmost area, which is nice. We like that. So we get six. And they're all going to go on the lawn. Whoops. All right. So we got maple, another maple. Oh, goodness. Lots of maple this round. Oh, dear. I may not have uh, mixed up the bag very well. I certainly didn't. Oh, well, at least we got one pair. Not really helpful for what we're looking for, but sometimes that helps. Well. And they all went in to our fourth area. Okay, so we've done the placement, and now we're going to do upgrades. There's nothing to upgrade because I lost so many turns last time. So we'll go right into cleanup. Thankfully, this time I get my moves. So I'm going to do one on the roof, one on the deck. Um, I think I would just go ahead and do that. Move that into a scratch bin. One on the pool, now I have a pile of maple that it can just move over. And I will go ahead and stack this pair. And then three on the lawn. So not a lot to do on the lawn at the moment, so I'm gonna go one, two, and three. Now because the scratch bin and the maple is full, I can't even move that maple up. So that's not very helpful, but hopefully next round will be a little better. And we repeat. Seven starting on the first area again. Wow. I mean, fourth area. I'm really lucky with the dice this round. Three, six. There's a little bit of a random element with the dice and the way the leaves are placed, but um, that usually is overcome by the different upgrades and stuff that you can do. All right, so everything goes on the lawn once again. Looks like we get a little bit of variety this time, which is good. An oak? No. And now uh, I'm finally full, so this one I can place, I have to stack it anywhere I want. Now you can't stack more than three. I'm just going to place it on that one there. Okay, so we rolled, placed, now we upgrade. I'm going to go ahead and empty my scratch bin. I have a lot of maple, and it looks like I could get two piles of maple. So even though it's only one token, I'm going to go ahead and grab that one token. And um, I think I will wait on these upgrades. I'm just going to save my token so I can get some of these upgrades. Hmm. Although, it might be worthwhile to get four moves on my lawn. All right. All right, now we clean up. So I get one on my roof. My roof is clear, so I just advance. I get one on the deck. Not really a lot to do on the deck, so... Just in the spirit of clearing it, I'll do that. The pool, stack that there. Now I could put the pair in there, but I kind of don't want to because I'm gonna go for two stacks of maple. So I'll leave that there for now. And then finally the lawn, I get four moves. So this will go right into the bin. And then I will do one, two, three. Actually, I don't think I'll do three. This will be three and then four so that I can get that one there. And that's complete, so I can put that in the bin. And that's really all I can do. All right, let's see what the weather does. All right, we've got a hailstorm. The hailstorm's kind of annoying. What it does is essentially for each area that's not immune, you have to place two leaf tokens before you even roll the dice. So I'm going to have to draw six, two, four, six. Okay. And I will have to put two. Now my lawn is immune thanks to George. So I have to put two on my roof, deck, and pool. Okay, so we place just like normal. So one on the roof, 
one on the deck, one on the pool, and then roof, deck, nice, and pool. Mm, not so nice. Okay, now you'll roll the dice like normal, and we get another seven. And because it's a storm, you have to start in the first area, so. Okay. So, again, roof. Hmm, I'll do that. Deck. Pull. And lawn. Roof. And pull. Okay, so that's all of our tokens. All right, so we've rolled the dice, we've placed these, now we get to upgrade. So I'm going to turn these two in for three. And then I'll move this over. Um, I could possibly get a maple this round, but it looks like I probably won't, would only get one. So I think it might be worth keeping that there, but I do have quite a bit to get rid of, so that's a little bit dangerous, but I'm going to leave it there for now. Actually, you know what, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and turn that in so that I can uh, do a, an additional upgrade. So I get one more token. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to unlock uh, Kira's second level bonus, which is once per bin, a once per cleanup, a bin can hold two, three, or four leaves, which means that once uh, per round, I can actually have two, like these two, to fill that up. Or, this is the one time that um, the rule of four is superseded, I could actually move one more on top of there, and get rid of that all at once. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and um, I'll save that token. All right, so we've upgraded, now we're going to clean up. Uh, roof, I'm going to go ahead and do one there. Actually, no, my... Aspen is what's really shy, so I'm going to actually do that. On my deck, I wish I had more than one move, because I'm going to have to choose. I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. On my pool, I'm going to go ahead and do this, so I can get those three together. And finally, my lawn gives me four moves, so I can put my maple up. I'm going to swap these two. Now, you remember, I do have a bonus, move one leaf anywhere once per cleanup, so I don't want to forget that. So I'm going to move, which one do I want? I'm going to move, and I wish I had done that last round. Um, all right, we'll just move my Aspen here. Okay, that was my bonus move. So I've had, there's one. Um, two, three. Actually, I think that's four. Yeah, so four moves. Um, so unfortunately, I couldn't quite get the oak. I didn't, I didn't play that right, but that finishes my cleanup. All right. Now the snowstorm only affects the pool, and, and unfortunately, I do have a pool, so I'm going to block my pool this round, which means I can't do any cleanup in that that area. Roll the dice. We're going to get six. Good. And because it's a storm, once again, oops, we start on the roof. A roof, deck, pull, and lawn, roof, and deck. Okay. Upgrade this time. I'm going to throw that away and upgrade these for three. Now um, I'm going to go ahead and unlock these two, which gives me a diagonal move in the lawn area and an extra move in the lawn area. So I now have five five moves, so that's two. And then with these two, I'm gonna go ahead and unlock, my deck is pretty busy, so I'm gonna unlock my deck so that I have two moves on my deck. 
All right, now we clean up. Roof, I've got one move. So um, I'm going to go ahead and move my Aspen. And yep, I got two on my deck. So I'm going to do one and two. Okay. And then because I have the, uh, my bins can hold two, three, or four, I'm going to go ahead and use that this round to move my Aspen up. Um, I also have, I can move one leaf anywhere, which I haven't used yet. I'm going to go ahead and move a maple up here this round. All right, I can't work my pool, so I now just go to my lawn, which I have four moves. So I will put this into my bin. I will do one, two, three, and four. My lawn is getting pretty clear, but my other area is not so much. All right, we've only got three rounds left, so we're going to have to pick up the pace here. Calm weather. Thank goodness. Roll the dice. Oh, no, we got ten, but luckily they all go on the lawn, so that may actually help us out. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And they all go on the lawn. So maple, maple. Now you'll notice there's more maple than anything else, and that's because um, each player's bin has maple. So there is a bit more maple. So plan accordingly. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, yeah, so I'm getting a lot of maple this game. Okay, now the storm is done. Good place, now we upgrade. I'm gonna throw that away and turn these in for Yep, turn those in for three. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Wrong pile. I get three tokens. I'm going to immediately um, spend those to upgrade some of these areas. So I'm going to unlock my pool for two. And I'd better upgrade. My pool is getting pretty busy. So do one more for the pool. Okay. Now clean up. We've got one on the roof. Okay. We've got two on the deck. So one, two. Actually, no, I'll leave that there. I do have movement one anywhere once per cleanup. I'm going to go ahead and move this one. Well, I don't really want to move that one. How about this one here? All right. So not really anything else to do with my roof. All right, pull, we do one, get rid of this. Actually, I'm going to save that. One, two, three. And you'll notice that I can actually stack onto leaves of a different type, you know, but I just can't put it in the bin until I fix it. You can also move entire stack. So this could be one move. This could be one move. You, the only thing you can't do is you can't take two and put on two because that would give you four. In this case, I can only do that when I want to throw one away. All right, so and then finally, we've got five moves because of this bonus in my lawn. So I will stack this one here, put it in my scratch bin. This one here is for two, three, and then four. I'll put that in a bin. Okay, not too bad. Looks like we're making some good progress. All right, calm weather. All right, so again, my last area. Oh, goodness, but I got 12. That's quite a few that's going to make it a little difficult. But you'll notice I'm getting quite lucky and everything is going on my lawn for the most part, which is really helping me get a lot of stacks. All right. I'll just put these down real quick. Probably fast forward through this. Okay, we're now upgrading. I'm gonna go ahead and turn these in for three and then turn this in for one more so I get a total of four. 
Now this round, I'm actually going to save all four of these because I really want this last bonus from Kira, which allows me to immediately discard my scratch bin, which is going to be really important here in a minute. All right, so we'll just go ahead and do a cleanup roof. I'm going to move this out. Deck, I've got two moves, so I'll do one, two. Pool, I have three. So I'm going to go ahead and put my bulk up. Two for my bonus. So I'm going to do this round, and that's really all I can do for that one. Now lawn. I have a stack of maple. That doesn't cost anything. And another maple. And unfortunately, that's all I can get on my bins, but I can do my four, five moves. One. Two. Three, four, and five. Now I can also once per round move one leaf anywhere. So I'm going to go ahead and move this one right here. Okay, so I think I've used all my bonuses. Um, okay, unfortunately, this is the last round and we got a rainstorm. Luckily for us, we don't have a garden, so the rainstorm doesn't affect us, except that it does force us to start in the first area. Now I don't know that I'm going to quite finish this, which means I probably made the game a little harder than I needed to, but we'll see how we go. So there's 10, and unfortunately I start in the first area, so 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10. So we'll see how we get on, but it's going to be it's going to be close. So roof, deck, pool, and lawn. Roof. Deck. Pool. And lawn. Roof. And deck. All right, not a very good setup, and I'm not likely going to finish this, but we'll see what happens. So we've now placed, we're going to upgrade. I get three plus one more. So I can get four tokens. Now, since this is the last round, um, I need to be really careful. On the roof, I only have one move at the moment. Even, even with one of my bonuses, I really only have, I need at least two moves. So I'm going to go ahead and spend two tokens to unlock my roof for <laughs> two moves. And I think I can manage my roof. My deck only has two moves, but as you can see, I have um, at least one, two, three, four moves to get it clear. So I'm going to need two more moves, so unfortunately I'm going to have to upgrade. Which of course doesn't do me any good, but I will go ahead and do it anyway. Upgrade that to four. Um, if I look at my pool, luckily those are full piles, so I really only have one, two, that I need for the pool, so I should be okay. And then finally my lawn. I'm going to have a lot of extra on my lawn, so I'm actually going to upgrade to the star now. And I'll explain what the star does in just a moment. That will maybe give me a chance. I didn't get the bonus that I really, really needed, so it probably isn't going to quite work out. All right, so let's try the cleanup. Let's see if I did it right. So I've got one. I'm going to use my move anywhere and move that there. And then I've got two. Oh, which I forgot to account for. So I'm already in trouble. Okay, I have four moves on my deck. So this is a full pile. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this into there. And I've got four moves. So I've got one, two, three, four. Now I could use my um, two bins. I'm going to have to go ahead and put that up. I can hold two. But I can't use that again this round. So now I have got my roof and my deck clear. So that's good. But unfortunately, my pool has three moves. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. So pool, I could do one, two, three. <laughs> unfortunately, that's all I've got. My scratch bin is full. So unfortunately, my pool is stuck where it's at. Now my lawn, um, of course we can put that there, but really there's not much else we can do at the moment. 
but I'll show you what the star does. So what the star does is it unlocks extra moves. The extra moves are you can take an additional move for the lawn, since I've got it on the lawn. I can discard the scratch bin, or I can throw one token away for one token each. So I'm going to spend a token and discard my scratch bin so that I can move a pile into it. And then I will empty it again. And I will empty it one more time. And this time I will actually put in something that's helpful. Um, now I haven't done my moves yet. So let's see if my moves help me with anything. Um, I will do one. There's not really much else to do. Two, three, four. Now you remember I have the one special ability where I can, a bin can hold four leaves. So I would go ahead and put that up. Gets rid of four leaf tokens. And that's really all the moves I have. So that's kind of where I ended the game. So we're now at the end of the round and the end of um, the weather deck. So I did not quite finish the game. Now, to make the game a little bit more doable, a lot of it depends on what storms you get, but really I probably should have added at least one more calm weather. If I had one more calm weather, which I'll go ahead and throw in so you can see how it would turn out, I likely would have made it. So we'll do one more round just so I can show you what would have happened. So here um, we're going to check the weather. We know it's calm weather. All our storms are done. We're going to roll all three dice. Okay, we got lucky and it's all on the fourth area. Nine. So depending on, I'm going to mix these up a little. Depending on which nine I get, this could be good or bad. Two, four, two, four, six, eight, and nine. All right, let's see what happens. The pair. Here, oak, fern, oak, maple, where do I want maple? Maple, oak, oh, and pear, okay. All right, not too bad. Um, upgrade, I'm gonna throw those away and get three tokens. And the three tokens I'm just gonna hang on to. Because I'm going to use the extra moves and see if I can get where I need to be. And we'll see what happens. Okay. So, clean up. Last chance to nothing on the roof or the deck. My pool has three moves. So I'm going to go ahead and move this into my scratch bin. And I'm going to go ahead and... Now because I have this special ability to put four in a bin, this is the one exception where I can actually do... A stack of four and I'll probably use that this round so finally I get five moves on my lawn so one two three four now I do have a move anywhere so I'm gonna do a move anywhere just so I don't have to use a move um, actually that's all I can do anyway so I have three tokens Probably not going to be enough, but I'm going to go ahead and fill my bins where I can. And you'll notice that I got a lot closer, but still not quite there, because I can spend a token to empty my bin and fill it. Spend another token to empty the bin and fill it. Spend another token to empty my bin and fill it. And that's where I'm stuck. So I got it down to just a few piles of leaves, really, really close, but still not quite there. It would have probably taken me one more round, depending on how many leaves fall. But that is upkeep. And so obviously I didn't win this particular solo game. Um, I could have made it easier or harder by changing this deck up. Um, some of the things you didn't really get to see much is some of the other professionals. There's a lot of different bonuses. I could have tried a couple of different strategies, um, which might have worked better than what I had, uh, what I had done, because I wasn't getting a lot of tokens this game. Um, so there's a lot of strategy in how you approach it. If I had done these sooner, it's quite possible that I would have done a little better because I would have had extra moves. But really, you're just going to have to kind of choose the strategy each game. I hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, be sure to comment below. And uh, we, hope, uh, we hope you'll enjoy the game. Thanks.